Okay, there we go. I'm ready to go. I've been ready to go. James, you're literally working on your video right now. <laughs> Well, no, I'm no, I'm not. I'm dry. Oh, I'm trying to make your video interesting. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I thought, I, thought, I was waiting because you were. Oh no. I let, do you want to let the professional do it? Uh, listen, yeah, you're the you're the odd ones out. Go for it. Uh, hey everyone, we're gonna play uh, Devils and Angels. Thanks for the enthusiasm, James. All right. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be playing Devils and Angels, and if you guys don't know about this already, we're gonna have a little story that's happening. Okay, I'm gonna introduce a little scenario to James, and mm -hmm. for the first round, he's the angel, and I'm the devil. He's gonna try to make the story go in a positive direction, whereas I'm trying to make the story go into a negative direction. And so, I'm gonna try and fix up his mess. I'm gonna try to ruin his not mess, <laughs> 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 and let's see how that works out. Also, about this fan art, and I'm gonna like. I'm gonna zoom in and point out at my problem, <laughs> right? Because with my style, I remove the eyes. The eyes are super important, right? Yep. James, you've got to make the eyebrows more interesting. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's tiny. It's like, that's what I would do. Like, look at this. Look at the comparison, fans. Look at this. <laughs> Okay, like, like, well then, you know what, you know what, I'm sorry I made you crappy fan art, No, <laughs> no, no, everyone's gonna be like, Maz, you're like roasting someone for their fan art? It's like... <laughs> now you're gonna have to see how bad my... It's okay. Just don't, don't feel pressured that you're in my presence, okay? Just... Senpai! <laughs> <laughs> so the scenario is this, okay? So, after the tragic events of what happened in my video, Mr. McQuackles, may he rest in peace, his spirit is out of his body, right? I got it. What, what, what is he gonna do now, okay? <laughs> he's, he's dead, he's been murdered. So, there's a soul of a duck. Yeah, wondering what's going to happen. Could we could we talk about uh, playing Connect Four at Australian VidCon? What about that that video footage of us holding hands? Uh, all right. So James <laughs> at Australian VidCon, when he wanted to go somewhere with me, instead of saying "Hey, Maz, let's go to <laughs> this location," he would just grab my hand and then lead me yeah. as if I was like a dog, right? Like or a boyfriend, but yeah. <laughs> Love you, James. Um. So, <laughs> but the thing is, he, we would I would be in the middle of a conversation, and then he would just be like, "Hey, Maz, just grab me by the hand." drag me away so we go and he's like Maz this is a giant connect four board we've got to <laughs> play so we start yeah. playing connect four and he, I'm usually the kind of guy to go slowly I think my way through and James puts down his first piece and goes speed run go and so, <laughs> and so he's like he's smacking down his pieces and I'm just like oh okay and so I go speed running and I lose like immediately and I'm just like James Best of three. And so second <laughs> round, we're also speed running again, but then he makes a silly mistake. So third <laughs> round comes in and he's like, okay, Maz, no more. We're going to play legit it's now. Because like I won one and then he won one. So yeah. we're like, this is for all the marbles. But then like, I don't, I don't know what you were thinking. I can, I can tell you what I'm, I was thinking. No, but like, like the first few moves, <laughs> you, you did well. You did the typical like diagonal strategy, right? Mm -hmm. But then, yeah. and I put mine here because that's normal, like the X shape. But then James like put his here like on top of everything and I was like, <laughs> what? Yeah, like towards the end I realized that I was going to lose just because you had so many places you could win and I didn't have like any. So mm -hmm. I was trying to get a uh, like a draw. So what happened was this scene happened, right? So it's like, oh, I realized that I can win. So I grabbed my singular white piece and I just like <laughs> smack it down and I just like sit back and say, I win. And James is like, Nani? <laughs> and because that what happened was that he placed it here and he's like, how did I how did I lose? And then I placed my white piece here and boom, connect four. I stood up, <laughs> put on my jacket, I was like, that's it. <laughs> I'm the winner. So I think what happened in the end was I beat you uh, the first time and then yes. you said best two out of three and then I said nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it. You won. Okay, so uh, Mr. Quackles, he's in duck heaven and there's just some hot duck babes waiting for him. Ooh. So that's okay. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to twist that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So Mr. McQuackles, right? Uh-huh. He's basically noticed that, man, if you're happy all the time, it's not fun anymore, right? That they oh. realize. He's having like an existential crisis. He's like, this is not nearly as, like, I'm bored now. I'm bored. Doesn't fit <laughs> in. He's getting an existential crisis. That's how it goes wrong. J D James... Not only does he have an existential crisis and it goes wrong, he, he he's just like, you know what? I, I don't want to be bored anymore. I want to have fun. I want to have fun. I hate, I hate heaven. Heaven is lame. Hate heaven. And he's like, you know what? You know what? I'm done with this. He's like supersonic speed getting out of there. So he's like, I'm done. 
He breaks out of heaven. He breaks out of heaven voluntarily. <laughs> and he's like flying to earth. He's like, that's it. I'm done. And the, and, the, and the two duck babes, the two duck babes are like, come back to me. Come back. Come back, my love. <laughs> those are the, oh, wait, those are their legs. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this a bad thing or a good thing that he escaped heaven? Well, escaping heaven by any definition is a bad thing. He's just, he's just getting out of there. Okay. And, and you know what? You can never come back. All right. Oh. He's. He's never He's coming back to heaven. He got kicked out of he heaven. He got kicked out of heaven, right? <laughs> That's it. He's not going to hell. He's just going back to earth. He's like resurrected, basically. I don't want to... I'm hesitant to reveal this, but I hadn't read Harry Potter when I was a child. Okay, same. And I hadn't watched all the movies. Yes! <laughs> 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 yeah, not reading the books, that's fine. But not seeing the movies? Listen, what was that reaction? That was uh, that was an overreaction. No, well. <laughs> it's very true, because that's exactly what people did in real life. When I was growing yeah. up, I was like, man, if only there were books about magic and schools and stuff. <laughs> and then my friend's like, what What about Harry Potter? I'm like, what are you, lame? Gosh, shut <laughs> up. Right? So It's mainstream. Here's something that I am a little hesitant to admit, but like... Every time I read the book, I just feel the exact same reading it. I, I don't know. I don't ever get ex enjoyment out of reading a book. So I just was like, okay, if I'm going to read a book, let's make it count. Would you consider audiobooks? Oh, pff, pff. see, I've wanted to talk about audiobooks in a video, but I'm afraid of people thinking I'm sponsored by Audible. Oh. Freaking audiobooks are like the greatest thing to ever exist. All oh, right? dang. <laughs> Okay. I like in school. I I would never read any of the books. I would just do audiobooks, and I f it felt like I was cheating. It felt like I wasn't actually reading because I was like, why are people reading the books when they could just listen to audiobooks? I I'm the opposite of you. I get like intense enjoyment in reading books and stuff, right? Like right. there's uh, like a Harry Potter reading. Like uh, there's one scene which made me like literally cry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that was me. It? What part of it was it? What part was it? it well, well, I don't want to spoil it, but... <laughs> it was the first Quidditch match. <laughs> it was the Quidditch match. <laughs> okay. okay, so uh, Mr. Quackers, I gave him a color palette. He's uh, He just escaped heaven, right? That's the duck heaven That's in the duck sky. Heave, yeah. And then all of a sudden, it explodes. Oh, no. It explodes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and so then Mr. McQuackers looks at the camera... And he, he goes, wow, glad I'm not there. So he just like survives the entire assassination plot, basically. Yeah. Um, so for me, I was actually not against audiobooks, but I didn't see the need for them. I was like the opposite of you. I was just like, why do we even have audiobooks, you know? I've, I've learned that we are very different people, Moss. <laughs> and opposites distract, James. That's why I love you. So what's happening now, okay? So Duck Heaven blew up, but, he, you know, he didn't wish bad on them, right? He didn't. He didn't. He liked them, right? Yeah, that's and true. And so seeing Duck Heaven blow up, he's just like, oh, dang, I lost my friends. I lost mm -hmm. my family. But then he's just like, I don't care. I made a decision to come here. I'm going to do whatever I want. You know what? Ducks? I hate ducks, right? He's, <laughs> he's, 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 you know, he, he was bored of the, of the duck girls. You know, he's like, you know what? You know what? I want, I want human girls. I want, I want humans. I want humans, right? And so this little lady who was like feeding the little duckies around, you know, mm -hmm. he's like, frick, there's a, there's a human girl. This is what I want. And he's just like, you know, the duck goes into the girl and he's just like, hey girl. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> he's getting real close. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> so, so basically what he's done is that he is an entourage of human girls, right? Like the, he's like, he's become like a, he's like a pimp. He's like a pimp. He's a, he's, he's a duck pimp. He's a, he's a duck pimp. Okay. <laughs> he's, and he's running human pimps out of business. The human pimps are like, yo, <laughs> yo, this duck, man, this duck duck is going crazy man he's, they all got like the gold chains and everything he's like what <laughs> what is this guy doing <laughs> he's like D this guy you know just pointing at him he's just like what? this guy stole all our business you know he's like what are you doing mm -hmm. but duck pimp doesn't give a cr he doesn't care right he doesn't care look at his gold look at his chains <laughs> is this is this is this a good or bad thing to this story? listen it's it's a bad thing because he's running everyone <laughs> out of, of business Right. You kind of lost track of who was good and was bad. <laughs> Mr. McQuackles, he has an entourage of ladies. This one's for her favorite. Let's let's name her uh, Vanessa. Vanessa is her favorite. The reason he can talk is because he got resurrected, so he can talk now. He's like, hey, what's oh, up? he can talk. Yeah, oh, yeah he can I, talk. I, I didn't think he needed to talk. He's just that much of a pimp. Oh, you're right. He just goes <laughs> quack, and everyone's like, yes, quack. I'm ready to <laughs> quack. I uh, what was the girl's name? Vanessa. 
Uh, uh, Vanessa got diagnosed with cancer. Oh, go- oh gosh. Yeah. Okay. And that's, um, it's uh, brain cancer. Oh, okay. I gave Vanessa cancer. <laughs> you, you, wow, James, you gave <laughs> Vanessa cancer. Yeah. And actually, okay, wait, no, I, I want to change. I want to change something. I want to change something. Okay. He's he's a he's a good pimp, right? He like loves his hoes. Yeah, he loves them. This is why like Vanessa is like being such cared for. No. no! <laughs> is it is it a period and then a question? Yeah, mark? no, this is perfect. Or... That's that's okay. exactly what it is. <laughs> oh. Okay, I just I just want to like talk about the the duck. This is he pulling the plug? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh gosh, you're right. It, lo- it looks like that. <laughs> James, mm-hmm. when you eat cereal, what do you do? <sighs> I already know what you're going to say. I've already yelled at you for this. Yes. But... What I do when I pour cereal is I get a bowl, mm-hmm. get my get a spoon, get my cereal, and then I, I pour the cereal in the bowl, mm-hmm. and I pour the milk, and then I eat the cereal, and that's it. All right. So I'm, I'm going to explain to you what I do. So you take the bowl, and then you put milk first. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, it, gross. I can hear the yells of children already, right? <laughs> milk first. Milk first. But then, listen, if you grab milk out of your fridge, the milk is too cold. So what you do... There's no such thing as too cold milk, unless it's frozen solid. No, it's just like, it's like, you know, it hurts your teeth. It's too cold, right? Okay. So what you do is you put it in the microwave for 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> And then it's like the right level of heat. You put, you get lukewarm milk. Beautiful. In your freaking cereal. Beautiful milk in my cereal. You're disgusting, Moz. You're a disgrace. How dare you, okay? (laughs) You know the phrase, don't knock it until you try it? I don't need to try it, Moz, because I know it's going to be disgusting. Wait, what what are you drawing? Okay, so what's happening, okay, what's happening is basically, you know, this, this scene initially looks really sad. You know, it's Vanessa going like... You know, it's Vanessa's like, okay. Yeah. And, you know, McQuackle's like, okay. But what you don't <laughs> see, what you don't see is the, it's w- what they're saying okay to. <laughs> so the conversation before this was like, I want you to be the number one pimp in the world. And the only competition, because human, human pimps, they're already lost, right? Yeah. The biggest competition is other ducks. Okay. Oh. So the, w- I want you to do one thing. Ban ducks. <laughs> Wait, where would the ducks go? They can't go to heaven. Exactly. Duck heaven's gone. Right? <laughs> no place for the ducks. So the, the Vanessa's like, I want you to get rid of the ducks. And then like McQuackles and McQuackles is like, quack. Because he still can't <laughs> talk, right? This, this, oh, this shouldn't right. be okay. This should be quack. You're right. Okay? Quack. You're right. I, was, I was my bad. But then, so Mr. McQuackles, he goes to court. He goes to court. <laughs> He's just like, quack. <laughs> then every, every instance of the word and anything that involves duck, banned. Remember, remember Duck Duck Goose? No more. It's just Goose, okay? <laughs> Donald just Duck? Goose. <laughs> no more Donald Duck. Daffy Duck? More like out of luck. <laughs> Get out of here, right? Rubber duckies? You want rubber duckies? Get out of here, okay? <laughs> ugly duckling. More like you're just ugly, okay? No, none of that. So all that's left is just Mr. McClackles. What's what what happens to what happened to Vanessa's cancer and what happened to Duck to Heaven? Listen, Vanessa had brain cancer. And my, my, Mr. McClackles, in the end. No. He's got more. He's got it. <laughs> it's just, it's just like explosion in the background. Like he's the like, cool guy. Don't look at explosion. That's it. Okay, Mr. McQuackles doesn't care about any of that. Duck heaven. Boom. Okay, duck, everything. Everything is gone. He went back in time and blew it yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. It turns out he was the one who blew it up in the first place. Okay, he, Mr. McQuackles, man, the master pimp. What did we learn? James, this is the moral of the story. Strive for greatness. That, that's the moral <laughs> of the story. Uh, have fun with that, kids. Have fun sleeping on that. I can imagine them going like, yeah, I want a really wholesome story. <laughs> and it ends with just Mr. McQuackles. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's only it. only Mr. McQuackles. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. All right, peace. Wear your seatbelt. And stay amazing. Heyo, I'm Editor Maz, the one that's currently editing this at 3 a.m. in the morning. Now, I didn't realize this, but James cut his recording right before my big plot twist, because I try to incorporate some of the big plot points of B-Movie. If you go back and rewatch it with this new information, I think you'll be pretty surprised with how much I could fit in. Let me know in the comments how many references you catch. <laughs> Alright, laters. No, we have to end it with my thing. Wear your seatbelt. <laughs>